Welcome back guys, and in this video, obviously I am in my kitchen, I am going to be focusing on my microwave, which is obnoxiously loud. The beeping is so ridiculously loud. Also, like many other microwaves I've had, when it reaches the timer and it's done and it starts beeping, if you open it up, it continues to beep. I'm going to open this bad boy up and we're going to fix that. So, unlike many other microwaves that have some sort of silent feature that turns off the beeping, um, I've seen online sometimes you have to hold down one of the buttons, like the number one, it goes into a silent feature so it doesn't beep, but even if you do have that and it's still really loud, every time the power goes out or flickers, like my apartment, it resets and then it starts beeping again. So. To get into this, it's actually quite easy. We just have to take off this back panel, and if you follow it around, you can see the screws are just holding in this part. See how it's clamped on here? So if we just take off the screws that are holding in just this black piece, we can easily get this thing off, look inside, and figure out where it's coming from. So just to let you guys know, most of these are Phillips head, but if you are doing this, you might have a security torch. That's why I have that one in. So one of the guys that looks like this got that little nub in the middle. I've got my little set down here. And my special tool to get them out. See how it's got a little hole to go over that nub. And I've got two. I've got one in the bottom there and one over there. So make sure before you do this, you kind of check to make sure you have the right tools for the job. But once you get those all out, there was five in total for me. I had one over here, two on both corners, two up here. Anyway, once you get those all off, then this whole top panel can come off. You kind of have to scoot it forward. See, I can grab it here, and it kind of scoots up like that. Then you just have to kind of shimmy it out. I'm not going to do it with one hand, but if you just kind of finagle it around, you can get up and you'll be able to get in here where we're trying to go. And just like that, it was super easy to get off. I just got it sitting down right there. Just like I said, just shimmy it back and forth. It's it's just holding onto this just by friction. So that'll pop off and this is where you want to look. And if you're in here for other reasons, you can change out a light that's burned out on here. But I mean, you'd have to find it, look up the code number, I did that. The light bulb is actually on the underside of here. I took it out. Those bulbs are ridiculous. They take up so many watts. So yeah, maybe sometime in the future I'll get to it. But what I'm looking for is the, I guess, speaker or whatever makes the beeping noise. And I'm not familiar with this. And I'm sure all your guys's are different. So I'm gonna plug it in and make it beep and figure out where the beep is coming from. Then I can disconnect it. Okay, so after just a, probably about a minute, I figured out what it was. I was gonna start taking off wires to figure out where it was coming from. So just go over here and press some buttons. You don't need to start it. I was just hitting one of these since it just goes through the different cycles and it keeps going through, it won't start it. So what I did was I was pressing that. I figured out it was coming from right over here. And this guy, right over here with that yellow that's where it's coming from and let's see if you can hear the difference if i press this that's pretty loud even though i have the microphone towards me but if i put my finger in front of the other one and do it at the same time it's much more quiet let's see if i can do this yeah it's muffled when i do that there's just a small pinhole on the other side of that so what I can do is I can put some tape over this to make it quieter, or I can remove it. Let's zoom in on this. You can actually see the leads are right there on front. So all you need to do is maybe get some needle nose and make so either one of those leads or both of those leads are no longer touching. Then it won't complete the circuit, it won't beep. So 
it's up to you, and it's also up to me what I want to do with that. And I think uh, I don't want any beeps at all, because honestly, I don't really need beeps for anything. If I have something in the microwave, it's probably in for 30 seconds or a minute, and I'm already standing there. Aha! So just like that, all I did was pop it off. I didn't know the whole thing was going to come off the way it did like that, but just had some pliers that I had laying around, grabbed it, pulled it out, just crusty popped up just like that, and now it's plugged in. You see that? And there is silence. It's wonderful. Now the only noise that's going to come from this is the when it's turning and it's making its little humming. But silence is a whole lot better than that, especially when it's in the middle of the night and you're microwaving something nummy.